Hey everyone, it's Helmdex here, and in today's video, I'm going to rank all the hardware upgrades that you could possibly make to your Lenovo Legion in terms of value for money from worst to best. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to say this is just my opinion of what I would do to upgrade my Lenovo Legion. So if you got different specs on your Lenovo Legion compared to mine, then your situation may vary. But with that said, let's get right into the video. Now, there are mainly a total of four hardware upgrades that you can make to the Lenovo Legion, which is the storage, RAM, Wi-Fi card, and the battery. This applies for all models. Unfortunately, you cannot upgrade the CPU or the graphics card in the Lenovo Legion or practically most laptops out there because they are soldered onto the motherboard, so the only way to upgrade them would be to swap laptops. Starting with number 4, we have the Wi-Fi card. Now, the Lenovo Legion already comes with an Intel Wi-Fi 6 card, which is already very fast. You can upgrade it to a Wi-Fi 6E card, which offers slight improvements over Wi-Fi 6. Now, Wi-Fi 6, which is the stock Wi-Fi card in the Lenovo Legion, may already be overkill for some people who have routers that are not as fast as the Wi-Fi card itself. So upgrading to the Wi-Fi 6E card may not be necessary in this case. So unless if you have a Wi-Fi router that has fast enough speeds to support the Wi-Fi 6E card, or if you're watching this several years later, then it may not be the best time to upgrade the Wi-Fi card. Coming up at number 3 is the storage. Depending on how much storage that your Lenovo Legion comes with at stock, the importance of upgrading the storage may vary to you. I know some of you may disagree with me, but this is how I would rank the storage as my upgrade priority. Most Lenovo Legions will come with 512GB SSD at stock. That is enough for me at this point in time, but for those who download and install a lot of games, you may need more storage. The amount of storage that your Lenovo Legion comes with at stock can vary. It could be as low as 256GB, or it could come with an extra hard drive. If you're looking forward to upgrade the storage, then my recommendation would be getting an NVMe SSD with at least 1TB of space. NVMe SSDs will provide faster reading and write speeds than compared to SATA SSDs. I'll be leaving all the links to the hardware upgrades that I recommend in the description below so you can check that out if you'd like. Now at number 2, we have the RAM. To give some context, the main issue of why the 2021 Lenovo Legion models were underperforming compared to other gaming laptops with similar specs was because of the RAM. The stock RAM had slower timings compared to other RAM kits that you can actually buy right now. The stock memory in the 2021 Lenovo Legion had a frequency of 3200 MHz and, and it was running in dual channel. A memory kit that had the same frequency and it was running in dual channel actually performed significantly better in games. Now I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible because this could sound very complicated to people who don't know much about computers. But here's a comparison between the stock memory that I had in the, in the Lenovo Legion compared to the new memory that I replaced it with. Both had the same capacity of 16 gigabytes and the frequency of 3200 MHz. The main thing we're, we're looking for is the TRFC timings. And as you can see, the new memory has lower TRFC timings than the one in stock memory, meaning that it is faster. Now, if you don't have a 2021 the Nova Legion model that has this TRFC issue in the RAM, another reason why you may want to upgrade the RAM is because of the low capacity. Some Lenovo Legion laptops may come with only 8GB of RAM, which in my opinion is barely enough to play most AAA games, but I recommend upgrading to 16GB as that's the sweet spot for gaming. To select the memory kit that you want to upgrade to, make sure that it is at least 16GB and that it's a total of 2 sticks so that you will be able to run in dual channel. Dual channel provides a significant performance improvement over single channel. Also, 16GB of RAM is the minimum amount I recommend for today's modern AAA titles on gaming laptops. Finally, make sure that the memory frequency for the memory kit is at least 3200 MHz, especially for Ryzen-based laptops, because Ryzen is heavily affected by the memory frequency in the RAM. For Intel laptops, it may not matter as much. And last, and certainly not least, for number one, we have the battery. In my opinion, this is the best upgrade that you can make to get some nice improvements in battery life if you got only a 60 watt hour battery in your Lenovo Legion at stock. If you don't know how many watt hours your battery has in your Lenovo Legion, you can check from your manufacturer's specs description of the laptop. The most amount of watt hours in the battery that you can upgrade to a Lenovo Legion is 80 watt hours, so this upgrade isn't going to matter if you already have an 80 watt hour battery. But with that said, if you want to upgrade the battery in your Lenovo Legion, then I'll leave several links in the description below to batteries that are compatible with the Lenovo Legion 5 and the 7. 
keep in mind I've only seen this work for 2020 models, but I haven't seen it work with 2021 Lenovo Legion models, although it may work out. For comparison with the stock battery in 60 watt hours in my Lenovo Legion, when watching YouTube the battery lasted for 7 hours and 42 minutes, but 10 and a half hours when the battery was upgraded to 80 watt hours. So a 35% improvement there. Now when I was gaming playing Warzone, I got a battery life of just over one and a half hours, so that's a 66% improvement there. Overall, when it comes down to which upgrades are worth it in the long run for your money, it all comes down to your needs and the stock specifications of your laptop. This is just personally my ranking and opinion of which upgrades that I would make first for my Lenovo Legion. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're feeling generous. I'm really close to my 2k subscribers goal, so that would help me a lot. See you in my next one.